Movable bases have finally arrived, allowing players to safely store their loot far from the reach of others. This not only enables players to transport their loot directly to monuments, but also provides a movable respawn point for quick re-entry into the action. We'll look at all the tugboat features and the new ferry terminal. Hey guys, Jafar here, and let's get started. Tugboats can be found at both the small and large harbours. In the small harbour, you can find two tugboats docked at the end of the pier. In the large harbour, two operational tugboats are also located at the docks. However, try not to confuse them with partially sunken, non-operational tugboats that are part of the monument scenery. 3000 health is what you'll get with the tugboat, making it the strongest vehicle compared to the others. Here's a look at the explosives that can be used to destroy the vessel. The best and cheapest option is torpedoes, which only require 12 and cost 240 sulfur. I really hope they increase this, as it's far too easy to shoot one down. Check for a pinned comment to see any updates they may have made. If you're being attacked while online, you can try and repair the boat using metal fragments and wood. When the ship is completely destroyed, it will sink to the bottom of the ocean. However, all doors, crates and deployables will remain intact. To access the loot, you'll need to grab a scuba suit and raid through the doors. The tugboat serves as a movable base, allowing players to place deployables such as crates, doors, sleeping bags, workbenches, and more. To gain building authorization, players can hold E at the steering wheel, similar to the tool cupboard. However, this means that a regular tool cupboard cannot be placed. There are limitations to what can be placed, with only practical and smaller deployables being available. These can be placed in the storage room, back deck, and some walkways. Electrical deployables and farming equipment cannot be placed, meaning that automated bases or completely living within the sea are not possible. The boat can accommodate as many players as can fit on it at one time. Even if your teammates are asleep, they'll remain on the boat while it's moving. The tugboat can be seen from a distance of around 300 meters or two squares. Beyond this range, it becomes invisible. When logging off, it's best to drive out far into the ocean to make it difficult for other players to find your vessel. The furthest you can drive out before you and the vehicle are destroyed is 13.8 unlabeled squares on a 4K map, 10.3 squares on a 5K map, and just under seven squares on a 6K map. If the vessel becomes beached, planes with building privileges can push it back into the water like a regular boat. Tugboats have a limited lifespan and will decay completely after 36 hours of spawning. However, every time a player interacts with the vessel, the decaying process is delayed by 24 hours. The boat consumes 1,188 low-grade fuel per hour, or 19.8 fuel per minute. Here's its consumption compared to some other vehicles. The tugboat is the slowest compared to the other motorboats with a max speed of 43.2 kilometers per hour or 4.8 squares per minute. At least it's still faster than cargo. The ferry terminal is the newest monument found along the beach at the typical locations where you can find the harbors. Across the monument, a total of 17 normal and military crate spawn locations can be found, with typically nine crates spawning at any given time. Additionally, around 28 regular and oil barrels spawn throughout the monument, along with nearby food boxes. A green keycard can also be located at the back of the primary building on top of the desk. To reach the top of the lift gate, some parkour skills are required. There are two options. The quicker but riskier option involves climbing a rope ladder and jumping over to another climbable rope. The second option is to climb up the walkway and run down to the second rope ladder on the side. This route also allows us to jump over to the primary building's roof, where you can get the jump on someone. Here's the loot I've received after collecting all the crates, barrels, and after recycling down the unnecessary items. For utilities, a recycler can be found outside the truck unloading bay, a vehicle lift directly next to the recycler, a research table inside the primary building after passing the underground entrance, a repair bench within the yellow crate to the side of the primary building, and a telephone at the primary entrance. 
The primary building is conveniently built directly on top of the tunnel entrance, making it easy to move up and down. There is no radiation or scientists, so get in there and loot up after spawning. In the future, the monument is planned to be expanded to incorporate the Nexus server swap system. While the exact details of how this system will work are not yet known, it's likely that it will allow players to travel to other servers while keeping their gear. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.